Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Uh, before we get into some NHL action for April 4th, I want to invite you to join the Z Code VIP Club section here, it has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so there's four of these that we want to look at. So let's get started here. Uh, the first one we want to look at is Ottawa and Carolina. Ottawa comes in average, winners of their last two, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six. Their last game was a 5-4 overtime win over Philadelphia. Carolina has averaged down. You can see they have lost their last three, and just 2-4 and four over their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, Ottawa has been involved in games over the line, three of their last five, and uh, Carolina in four of their last six. The score predictor has Carolina by a 4-3 to three margin with about 47% level of confidence in the prediction. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see clearly that Carolina has been above Ottawa for the entire season. Right now they're at plus 29, while Ottawa is at plus 8. If we take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two, see back on February 23rd, Carolina won 4-0 as a home favorite, and on February the 8th, Ottawa won, and... So they're even so far this season between the two teams. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent are they with their favorite underdog status? You can see both teams are pretty much dead even, and they are currently dead even at 21. They're both very stable, very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, I like this one to have a similar outcome as before. I like Carolina to win um, in a game going over the line. Okay, Pittsburgh and New Jersey. In this contest, you can see both teams coming in ice cold down, although both teams have won their last game, and uh, Pittsburgh is 3-3 three and three over their last six, and New Jersey is also 3-3 three and three over their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, it's very similar as well. Both teams uh, involving games under the line in the last game, Pittsburgh two, and, 2 out of their last 5 over, and New Jersey 3 out of their last 5 over. Score predictor likes New Jersey by a tight 3-2 to two score with a little bit better chance than the toss of a coin at 52%. The power ranks indicator shows you see the trend here in New Jersey on an upward and down trend. Now they're on a steep downward decline over the last few days from 25 to 20. And Pittsburgh on a slight decline from 15 down to 13. If we take a look at the head-to-head -head between the two teams, we can see that back on February the 18th, it was New Jersey 5 to 2 on the road. Um, the stability factor see. Pittsburgh consistent, much more consistent with regard to their fair underdog status in New Jersey, although over the past uh, about month and a half, they've been very inconsistent. They were at plus 14 back on February the 13th, and that's where they are now. And New Jersey is only at plus 4, and they were only as high as plus uh, where were they? Plus 6, or plus 7 at one point. So not very consistent. Um, in the end, I like this one to be a win for New Jersey, and I like them to do it in a low scoring game under the line. Philadelphia and St. Louis, Vegas and Nashville. And in this contest, here you can see both teams coming off of losses. In fact, Vegas has lost their last two, they're four and two of their last six. Nashville is three and three over their last six, and both teams are average status on the team strength oscillator. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Vegas has been consistent at plus 30 ever since the 23rd of March, so for the last week. While Vegas has been up and down, they have climbed now from 8 up to 14 over the last few days. Um, the over-under, you can see that Vegas has been involved in games over the line four of the last five, Nashville in just two out of the last four. Uh, the score predictor has Vegas by a 4-3 to three margin, but only 32% level of confidence, so take a look at that. Uh, of course, it gets to the game time. In head-to-head -head matchup, you can see back on February the 7th, it was Vegas 5-1 as a road underdog. And on December 31st, it was Vegas in overtime shootout by a score of 5-4. In the end, I like this one to be a Vegas game, taking care of business, and I will pass on the over-under. And the last game we want to look at here... Scroll down through here is Edmonton and Los Angeles. Edmonton comes in burning hot. You can see winners of their last three, and they actually defeated um, Los Angeles just uh, 
the other day by a 2 0 score. And you can see that Los Angeles's average stats there come off from two straight losses and three and three over their last six. The score predictor likes Los Angeles to bounce back in this one, three to two, with a pretty high level of confidence of 74%. The power ranks indicator chart shows pretty consistent for both teams uh, lately. Um, Los Angeles on a little bit of downward trend at plus 26. And Edmonton has been stable over the last couple of days at plus 21. The stability factor, you can see both teams have not been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats. More so now, but both teams were in the negative for quite some time. Now the teams are in the positive at plus 8 and plus 5. But take a look at that carefully before you make up your decision. Um, in the end, though, I like this one to be a Los Angeles game, and I will take them to win it in a game going over the line, which might be a little bit contradictory, but the, what the score predictor has as far as the total number of goals of five, I like this one over. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for April 4th in the NHL. Happy betting, and we'll see you next time.